Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I jumped on the ball there, honestly. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly don't know. I, I grabbed it and I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. That probably looked really weird. But uh, obviously it was a pass. <laughs> On the forced fumble? Uh, yeah, they're doing a really good job all game with their read option. A um, uh, really good job of working our perimeter, obviously. So we changed up how we were uh, attacking their mesh. Um, so that one was just, uh, you know, attack the mesh and, and come out on the quarterback instead of the dive as we had been playing the, uh, you know, the beginning of the game, and it, it worked out pretty well there. Zach, seems like week after week, you know, the, the defense is a little bit slow getting started the same way today, but then right when it matters most in the fourth quarter, you guys have been able to really buckle down. I mean, what's been the key for you guys in these last few weeks to really just, you know, finish off strong and really propel you guys to a win? Just uh, never giving up, always fighting. Um, you know, it obviously helps to have spark plays by the special teams. Um, but, you know, the, obviously the, the safety, the fumble there, those, those are big plays. Offense did a great job. Uh, Having a time of possession, moving the ball down the field, and obviously special teams were great too. So, um, you know, obviously it was, a, it was a whole team effort, but I'm really proud of the guys on defense how we uh, buckled down in the second half. What kind of feeling is it to have, you know, this packed stadium like this? You know, they're pulling the upset, and you just take the life out of the stadium. What does that feel like? Um, yeah, that's it's obviously a, it's a good feeling. Um, you know, obviously, uh, it's victory from the jaws of defeat, maybe. But uh, we kept fighting. We never uh, lost faith in in, uh, in the fact that we were gonna we were gonna come come out with the victory. So, um, it obviously, feels good to have that uh, belief rewarded. What adjustments did the defense make from the first half to the second half that was able to slow the Um uh, Just like I said, uh, with their uh, kind of their read option, uh, we were we were playing it a little too. Uh, a little too much in the middle of the field, so we were trying to take away the outside because that's where they were burning us. So uh, we didn't think they could run up the middle, and uh, I think it turned out a little better in the second half. That was a weird week playing in two because obviously you figure Adrian Martinez not playing, you've got Lucas Slater. So what did you guys think about his performance today and being able to see him in action? Um, he's a great player. Um, uh, I think it definitely helped that he's the same kind of player as Adrian Martinez uh, uh, athletically. Um, you know, really talented. Uh, obviously, uh, played his heart out. Um, the entire their entire team did. Uh, all credit to them. Um, this was, it was not an easy game to win. How much did the uh, block punt you think help your team momentum wise? Because it seemed to be pretty flat at that point. Yeah, I think I think we were starting to build momentum a little bit. That was a good stop on defense. Um, you know, uh, to pin him down there. But yeah, that was a great. That was a huge spark play. Uh, obviously, that changed the entire momentum of the game. And uh, uh, I don't know where we'd be without that. When you look at a guy like, like Henry Marquez, who's been in the program for five years, and uh, you know, like Senior Day, he has a big block on a, on a kickoff return for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Guy has a block line. I mean, it just kind of symbolizes the whole program in some ways. I don't know what what's your kind of thoughts of him. And, yeah, you know, uh, well. I think it really embodies what it means to be a Hawkeye, uh, especially in. You know, uh, today's environment of if, if you're not going to play, maybe just leave and, you know, try try your luck in greener pastures. But, uh, you know, guys just keep plugging away and keep working and do what they can to help the team. Um, and I think that's what makes this team special, that, you know, we're a brotherhood. Uh, we're willing to do anything for each other, and that, that shows in plays like that. Zach, Spencer talked about overcoming adversity. Does that kind of help define this entire 12-game stretch is just overcoming battles? Yeah, I would say so, um, especially, uh, you know, after a pretty hot start. I uh, had some adversity thrown our way, and just the uh, the ability to react to that, to respond to it, um, especially you know these last four weeks where it hasn't always been easy, just to come come out every week and uh, give it our best. Uh, you know, given you know we had some illness in the building this week, we've had some guys out, just you know plugging the next guy in, and just always being ready to play. How does it feel to be at least having to share a Big Ten West title? Uh, it feels great. Um, I gotta say, I'm gonna be the biggest Gopher fan in the world tomorrow, but uh, uh, for the next 12 hours, it feels awesome. Uh, every every down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, and you're part of the reason why that they're not the ones that are they're, they're at the eliminated now because of what happened. I mean, there's some mm-hmm. irony to that. At some point. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, yeah, it's weird cheering for a team that you know obviously is a uh, is a rival, um, but obviously they they played us really really tough and they're they're really hard nosed team. So hopefully they can get the dub tomorrow. Was uh, was Ferentz pretty stoic in the locker room, or did he melt like a candle? Um, I wouldn't say that. Um, obviously, it's, it's always emotional when you finish, you know, finish the regular season, um, especially you know the way the way we have uh, ten wins is no small accomplishment, um, and just the way we've done it. Uh, this group of guys is really close, and uh, yeah, so it was a little emotional. All right, thank you, Zach.
Thanks, Thanks, sir. Right? Exactly. Questions for Henry? Obviously, uh, what did you see on the uh, block? You know, just we knew they were going to line up in that. That's their base formation. And uh, just got a great call, great situation on our left hash. And just going out through, throughout the week, practicing that, and uh, got a little tip on their cadence. So uh, just going out and executing, and that's the whole team. Thanks to the whole staff working with it, Coach Woods, Coach Ferentz believing in it. So just a whole team effort on that. Oh, it was great. I, I mean, I, I needed I needed that. I missed one in Minnesota, so I needed to get that one. What's this last two weeks been like for you? You got the, you got the big block this spring, Charlie, and now you've made a, made a huge play to change this game. Yeah, just, uh, you know, just trying to contribute to my team and, uh, you know, giving back to all my teammates. Never want to let my teammates down in any situation. And uh, I feel like just special teams, you, you got to be great on special teams. It's a three-phase game, offense, defense, special teams for a reason. And uh, just trying to make impact plays, help my team out in any way I can. You look at kind of your, at your career. I mean, you had a chance to go probably play pro baseball right away. Mm. Yet you came to Iowa and you did switch sports midway through your career. Mm. You didn't quit and leave. Why did you stay with Iowa and, and especially Iowa football? Well, I grew up an Iowa fan. My dad played here. Uh, Big Ten football's engraved in my family. All three of my brothers played Big Ten football at separate uh, Big Ten programs and my cousins as well. And I uh, just love, love the game, love the camaraderie, love my teammates. And, uh, you know, obviously my college career have been switching positions, wide receiver, defensive back, doesn't matter. Just staying, staying true to myself, staying true to my teammates and uh, trusting my coaches, trusting Coach Ferentz. He's the best man in business for a reason, so. What does it mean to hear the high praise from Jack a couple minutes ago? Uh, you know, that's... That's all I really like. Look for. Um, doesn't matter about the stats for me or you know the recognition. All I care about is the respect of my teammates and respect of my coaches, and that's really the the best thing about college football, I think, and football in general. Just the team caring for each other and being brothers, and it's so cliche saying that, but it's it's truly that's truly what I look forward to. You know, having the respect of my teammates and coaches. That means a ton to me. When they were lined like? up for the punt that you blocked. Do you get any kind of feeling I'm getting this one? Um, on that one, I was just like, I got to have it. Um, we needed a play and we needed a spark. And that's what's, again, that's what special teams is for, help the team out in any situation. And, um, you know, just that one, I knew they point out their guys who they're trying to block. And I'll, I knew they weren't going to point me. So I had a free shot at the shield and at the punter. So just trying to do my job, trust my coaches, put me in that, those situations and executing. Do you have a clear line of vision on the ball after it was blocked and went into your teammate's hands? Um, so I rolled over, saw the ball just skyrocket in the air, and uh, I saw Fish, Kyler Fisher, uh, catch the ball. Great catch. Like, that was a great catch over his shoulder. And then as soon as he caught it, out, I just went bananas. So. <laughs> what was it like getting to celebrate that with your teammates? Oh, it's the best feeling. I mean, any big play out of just anyone could be Tyler, could be Jack, could be the whole defense. Um, just celebrating those big plays, again, that's what a team's for. And it's, this is a team win, and it's a team game, and no individual guy wins a game. And uh, just those big plays comes from the coaching staff uh, preparing us during the week and uh, us going out and executing and just having that trust between each other. So Special teams come up big in so many different games this season. How instrumental is Coach Woods is he's the best. You know, he on and off the field he's just a great guy. Um, you know, he really cares and he's really passionate about special teams and obviously for this team and uh, for everyone on the team. So uh, he's just one of my favorite coaches. I, and again, I always tell him thank you for the opportunity to play for you and on these special teams units because you know it's just it's an honor to play for him and on, again honor to play for all these coaches and all for all my teammates. So one more question. Yeah, look at back. That last week, what was it like? Did you know your brother was going to come out and meet you and your parents? Um, we talked about it during the week. Again, we we don't really talk during that week. Um, I don't really talk. I don't. I talked to him probably on Sunday. Like who's like you're getting these tickets? I'm getting these tickets. Um, but no. Um, I asked. I asked Coach Ferentz. Uh, I think Monday, and he asked Coach Bielma, and uh, they gave us the okay and thank you to them again. Um, Coach Ferentz and Coach Bielma being great about it. And just a great moment for my family, great moment for myself. My parents said it was one of the top moments of their lifetime. And 
And I was just, it was hard not to tear up when I was running out and seeing that. And uh, the crowd loved it. I mean, I loved it even more. So. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks. I have emotions going to getting to see Spencer. You see you do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it wasn't just Spencer. I mean, we had, that was our first touchdown, I think, in the game on offense, so to finally be able to push it through. Um, and I'm just proud of the guys. Uh, you know, we fought all game, you know, fought till the very last second. So just proud of the guys and proud that we came on top. What are the emotions like after we like that? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's a great feeling, you know, coming into a packed house and, you know, leaving off the field with the trophy. It definitely, definitely feels good. What was it like this week? I mean, I know you had the flu a week ago. A lot of guys had it. Just to fight through and to be able to persevere and get a win like. Yeah, we went through a lot as a team. Um, but, you know, we ended up on top. You know, we we're going to keep fighting. You know, no matter how we felt, no matter how you know players felt, we're going to keep fighting for each other, keep playing for each other, and we did that tonight. Um, just proud of the guys. Does for it some ways, kind of symbolize what this team's all about. That no matter what, you kind of get it done. Yeah, uh, you know, we find a way to win. I think that's been the story of this season. You know, we've. You know, we've been in these close games, and we just find ways to win, find ways to finish on top. Is that new shirt to the collection? Yeah, <laughs> love the shirt. Uh, fits nice and tug. Um, you know, just proud of the guys. Uh, what was the, the coach got pretty emotional on, on the field that trail into the locker room? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when we have a huge win like this, coach, um, you know, was just proud of the guys, and then obviously, finish the season with ten wins. Um, you know, I, don't know, I don't know how many times that's been done here at Iowa, um, especially in recent years. Uh, so, you know, just proud of the guys, proud of how we finish, and I know he's very proud of us and the coaching staff. I know you have to wait for the results tomorrow, but obviously the teacher is you know, a West Division champion. Do you feel like you are West Division champions, I guess? Yeah, uh, you know, I feel like we earned it. Um, you know, we played, played our hearts out this whole year. Um, you know, a resilient team, never quit. Um, you know, no matter what the outcome is tomorrow, um, I'm just proud of the guys. Proud of how we fought all year. Tyler, you're pretty close to Spencer. What was that like for him to kind of lead you guys back in the second Yeah, I mean, when I knew he was going in, I said, just, you know, you're a winner. You go out there and win. Um, and, you know, he led us there. You know, he's commanding in the huddle. Um, you know, I thought he did a great job. So, um, I mean, obviously, whoever's in there, whatever quarterback we have in there, we have the utmost trust in them. And they both have played extremely well this year. So, whoever, whoever the quarterback situation is, you know, we're going we're gonna to play the same. We're going to play our hearts out for them. And I think we did that today. You guys had to deal with, I mean, a, a, a touchdown that got called back, a fumble inside the 10, and, and yet you're still, you know, down 15 points late in the third quarter, and here you are. I mean, what was it? What was going through your guys' mind? I mean, what was the discussions like? I mean, not to get down and just let it go away. Four quarter ball game. Um, you know, a lot of the times you see teams, you know, just break in the fourth quarter. And, you know, I think our defense played lights out in the fourth quarter, gave us some stops and gave us the ball back in some good field position. And we put it through uh, to go up seven. So, you know, that game's not over until um, the very last second. And, you know, we knew that going in. I mean, obviously those drives, you know, we, we got it in there into the red zone. We just weren't finishing. You know, we shot ourselves in the leg a couple times. But you know, I'm just proud of the guys and how we finish and finish out that third and fourth quarter. Another strong performance by the, the rushing game. How would you assess how that area has progressed in the last month of the season? Yeah, I remember doing interviews with you guys when we were on a two-game losing streak. I'm like, you know, we're going to get this ball rolling. We're going to get it going. Um, you know, we had a lot of young guys playing and just continuing to get better and better. And you're finally seeing, seeing the results. Um, you know, we still got a long way to go, so a lot of work to do. Um, but, you know, this, this group of guys, you know, we never quit. We're going to keep getting better, keep improving, um, and it starts in practice. Are you going to watch TV tomorrow and be rooting openly for Minnesota? I mean, you got to be rooting for the Gophers, right? Um, if you're a Hawkeye fan, you know, to give us a chance to go to Indianapolis, uh, you got to be rooting for the Gophers tomorrow. The uh, Goodson 55 yard run, that seemed to really springboard you guys late. Um, what was that play? You know, what was your view on that play? Yeah, you know, it was just, you know, great blocking by the line, and then obviously great running by Tyler Goodson. Uh, you know, all year he's been running tough, getting tough yards, so just proud that we could, you know, break open, break open a big, big play in that fourth quarter. and. You know, give us a chance to put the ball in the end zone. Did one more question. Can you ask that again? Can the block, did the block front kind of change, just change the momentum of the entire game? Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, I think it was Henry Marquez who blocked it and then Fisher who scored a touchdown. Like that changes the outlook of the whole game. Um, if that doesn't happen, I don't know what the outcome would be. Um, you know, but that's all three, all three uh, teams, you know, special teams, offense, defense, got to play together to win ball games, and we did that today.
How does it feel to be able to be wearing a Big Ten West division champion t-shirt as a true freshman? Yeah, it feels great. Um, I was just talking to Coach our quarterback's coach about it, and uh, he was like, you freshmen don't know about a ten, uh, how, how hard it is to get a 10-win season. And like, um, <clears throat> I'm realizing that it's not easy at this level to get a 10-win season, and it feels great. Um, I just love these guys. Uh, I love my teammates, and I just know that, you know, when we face adversity, we're going to come out. So, yeah, it feels great. <clears throat> Your first return to Memorial Stadium since you played in the Class A Championship with Delta West. Yeah, uh, it was like a surreal experience when I walked out. Um, yeah, it's crazy because that happened uh, on this day two years ago. So, um, I mean, it was crazy kind of how it aligned and a um, few more fans in the stadium today than it was in the state championship game. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it was kind of surreal. I've been to a lot of Nebraska games uh, just being a fan, a spectator, um, spectator, not fan. Um, just having a father that played here. So being on the field, you know, actually playing on the field, um, you know, against Nebraska, it was a surreal feeling. How many family and friends did you have here? Um, uh, my dad was smart. He tried to get on it, so I didn't have to. I wasn't, like, struggling to get tickets this week. But it was probably probably around 30. What does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, like, my family is everything to me because I just know that, um, you know, they're going to be there for me through anything and, you know, there's been a lot of bumps and bruises on my journey just playing football, and I mean, they stuck with me through it all, and uh, those are the people I lean on. So, I mean, that means the most. There's a lot of thousands of people in the crowd, but those are the, those are the people that mean the most to me. Maybe the quarterback change. Um, Spencer in that huddle when he came out there for the second half. Yeah, uh, ready. I mean, Spence is a great leader, and um, <clears throat> if it was Alex or Spencer, I think we would have got the job done. Um, but Spencer stepped in and did a great job. Um, I feel like he commanded the offense great. Um, Felt confident with him in there, and uh, I mean, it turned out great. So, yeah. It seemed like from up in the press box that he kind of had an extra energy coming out onto the field. Yeah. Is that the case? Uh, maybe so. Uh, maybe he felt like he had something to prove, and um, maybe that gave him the extra spark. But I think it was bigger. It was more like the offense needed that spark, and um, you know, we needed to make something happen. And um, I think he felt that. I think we all felt that. So I think he commanded the offense great. Yeah. Fourth quarter, you guys come back down from double digits. That just sort of sum up what this Iowa football team is yeah. going to be all about throughout the season. You guys really overcome adversity. Yeah, I mean, I think it sums it, sums it up perfectly. Uh, like we really emphasize special teams heavy, um, and I think, uh, I mean, like you said, I mean, you hit it on the head. Uh, Iowa football is we pride ourselves on all three phases playing together, and I think that's what puts us on the over the top of other teams is. Uh, those, you know, those three phases working cohesively with each other, and um, I think that showed up today. And I think this, how it played out today, is just a great representative of what this football program is. Um, I think all phases, we just trust each other. Um, you know, we we feed off each other, and uh, I mean, Beast uh, Henry making that, um, uh, blocking the punt, and um, Fish getting it and scoring. I mean, it couldn't come at a better time, and I think uh, it was just on from there. One more, if you have it. <clears throat> Right, thank you. You're a Minnesota fan tomorrow? Huh? Yeah, go Gophers. <laughs> yeah. All right, questions for Jack. So what are the emotions like after a comeback win like this? Yeah, I mean, it, I, it's unexplainable, honestly, just walking into the locker room. And this is one of my favorite parts of the, this game is just being able to enjoy it with the people that, that make up the team. And, I mean, just walking into the locker room, it, it's, it's something that I can never explain to anyone unless you're a part of it. Um, and it's just truly special. So, in this in this game to be down 15 points and late in the third quarter to have this happen, I mean, what what did it take out of you guys to put yourself in this position to win? I say it it it, it took a lot of belief in yourself. I mean, we went out there and we had some some hiccups early on, and maybe we didn't play our play our best as a unit, but we always found a way to get off the field at the right time. And that just started with belief, belief in, your, my, in myself, like for me individually and all the other guys individually, but then as a unit. And I think that spread. And I mean, we just went out there and played, played hard, hard-nosed hard football. There's no way around that. But um, hats off to Nebraska. Very talented team and a lot of athletes on that field. So. Jack, you walk out as one of the captains. And uh, obviously, you 
kind of a spokesperson in a way for the team. What, what does it mean for her? What has Spencer Petras meant to you guys maybe in the last month when he hasn't been playing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd say Spence has just always been encouraging. Um, always just helping, preparing the same as when he was when he was the player, the, the starter. Um, he's, he's a heck of a person, and he just always puts the team first, which is something I can respect from him. Um, and so, I, yeah, that's about him. Yeah. You guys have had uh, three comebacks of 14 points or double-digit points this season so far. I mean, uh, but this one seems to almost be the most symbolic of your season because you scored uh, special teams on defense and then finally on offense. Uh, what does it mean to be able to, to make it happen in every unit and every phase to put together a win like this? Yeah, that, that's something I just feel like is so special about Iowa. All the phases work in unison together, and they all just if one if maybe if one phase has a hiccup here, the next phase is going to pick up, and then maybe special teams are going to come in here and give you a touchdown. Like those are just all huge plays that maybe some people like overlook, um, just in like the broad picture. But if all three units are playing together and and they're on the same page, I mean it's it's tough to beat a good football team like that, and I mean. Um, I'm just so proud of all those guys. I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna talk to Henry pretty soon, and w what what a what a great example of, of a kid who this is in his fifth year, and I mean he doesn't have to come back. I mean, and and nowadays people are just gonna they just decide oh this isn't working I'm gonna leave, or I maybe I'm not getting I'm not the starter so I'm gonna leave. So I feel like. When you talk to him, it's just going to, it's just, he embodies a, a Hawkeye football player. And, and that's something. And he's one of those people that just make it so, so, I don't I can't even explain it. But when you see him after a win, it's just, it's just what makes the game football so, so good, in my opinion, is just the people inside the locker room. So. What was, what was Kirk like after the game? I mean, he, little words. He's emotional, which, which I love. I'm all for that. So, I mean, it, we we did. I mean, looking back, now that the season's over, I mean, obviously we're gonna have a bowl game, but just just what what are, what a season, honestly. And, and co I'm, coach is just so proud of us, and we're, I'm just so proud of everyone else in that locker room, and just always fighting and never giving up. So you guys gave up two drives of 75 yards, another one at 94. Uh, what did you have to do to keep them from going that far? I mean, just. Doing our job, it started right there, and just having eye discipline. I mean, we left a few plays out there, but I mean, you can't give them back, and you just got to move on. But we also made a lot of big plays and big time moments, and just this defensive unit just never gave up. Nor did the offense, and nor did the special teams unit tonight. So, um, I mean, it it just speaks volume to the coaching staff and, and the guys who come in every day and are willing to work. So, all right, all right, Thanks, appreciate Jack. it.